Hey there, Todd with Tribble Painting. Today we're going to talk about nail pops, what they are, and how to fix them before you start your next painting project. So almost every home that we work on has nail pops. Some have a lot, some just a couple. Um, nail pops by themselves are not necessarily something to be concerned about. It doesn't mean something bad is going on with your house. Well, let's talk about why they happen. Your home is built with wood framing and then we fix drywall to it which is a hard surface. Drywall is not flexible. So over time, throughout the seasons, and in Ann Arbor where we're located in Michigan, um, we definitely have four seasons. So in the summer, the humidity is high and that wood framing of the home swells up and expands. In the fall and winter, when we turn our furnaces on, it sucks the humidity out of the framing and the wood studs and it pulls against the drywall, which creates these nail pops over time. So that nail or screw most likely tends to work itself out after so much expansion and contraction and pulling on the uh, on the drywall. So you know prior to any paint job if you notice spots like these which are little protrusions of the screw head on the surface of the the drywall you'll want to repair those prior to starting your painting job. You don't want to see that on your nice new paint job. So let's talk about the tools you're gonna to need and the process for preparing nail pops prior to starting your next painting project. Okay, some of the common tools you're gonna to need to repair uh, nail pops would be some type of scraper or five-in-one or painter's tool. You'll need a screw gun uh, for securing the screws and you'll need an inch and a quarter coarse thread screws, couple of those. When it comes time for patching, you're gonna want some type of, we call this a mud pan uh, and a uh, spackling blade and some type of patch. We used a product called Durban that has a hardener in it and it dries quickly in 20 minutes so we can turn around and paint it. But you can also buy light patch, which is a different form that's already pre-mixed from your local paint store. Once the patch is dry, you'll need a piece of sandpaper or a sanding sponge. We recommend a medium fine coarse grit on the sanding sponge. Let's go ahead and take a look at the repair process using these tools. Okay, so we've got the nail pops, we've got our tools set aside. Let's take a look at how we would repair them. So you can see here, we're just gonna take the five in one, which is a painter's tool. You can use this or any type of uh, spackling blade and just dig out that um, excess drywall mud that is starting to pop off that old screw. Then I'm gonna take a screw gun and I'm gonna, I'm gonna loosen this screw up and then I'm just gonna snug it back down. And then the real key the start of the show are these inch and a quarter coarse uh, drywall screws. And I'm gonna put one about an inch or so above and one below into the stud. And I'm just, I'm just gonna go slightly past into the drywall. I'm not gonna sink it real far. Just gonna dimple it in enough and then um, once that's done, we're gonna patch over these. So you can run your hand over it, make sure you don't feel the screw head protruding. That way you know it's in far enough. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take our, we're using Durban, which is a um, patching product that has a hardener in it. Comes in a powder form, we mix it up and it dries in about 20 minutes. You can use this or you can buy pre-mixed patching materials from your local paint store. Um, that work just as well. And so the idea is to make sure you're filling filling the holes and then leaving a little bit protruding so that you make sure those holes are filled and then you can always go ahead and sand that off. I want to take a little bit off so we don't have a ton of sanding to do. All right, so we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back We'll show you the sanding process. Okay, our patch is dry. Now we're gonna go ahead and sand it with our sanding sponge. And just to refresh, the reason we put screws above and below, we wanna make sure that if this is a place where the uh, drywall tends to pull, we wanna make sure that we've got it nice and fastened. So we use an extra fastener above and below that original one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sand 
I'm going to feather out the edges, removing that hump from the, from the top. And you can see that there's a little bit of uh, change in color here, and that's where we still have some of the patch drying down, and that's okay because there's hardeners in that that'll allow it to, to harden and allow us to go right over it. So that's about the right amount to take off. And now it's time to go ahead and prime that patch and then it'll be ready for the ultimate paint job. So one last thing to check on before you move on to the priming process. When you're done sanding, rub your hand over that patch. If there's anything protruding or lumps that need to be sanded off, you'll feel it with your hand and you can go ahead and hit it with the sandpaper or sanding block before you move on to the priming process. So thanks again for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful on fixing nail pops. Please hit subscribe and like. It helps other people find our videos.